We end tonight with the story of a humble man who pushed humankind beyond all limits. Chuck Yeager died last night at the age of 97. He was a test pilot, the first to fly faster than the speed of sound, and he blazed a trail for others, including Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield. Hadfield paid tribute to Yeager today, calling him a brave and singular man who served his country, expanded scientific understanding, and inspired me. Eric Sorensen on a man whose achievements sent America's dreams into the space age. His daring spins, training to be a pilot in the Second World War, showed he was a natural in the cockpit. And when he shot down five German planes, he qualified as an ace in a single day. But Chuck Yeager's mark on history would come two years after the war, as a test pilot in the X-1, a rocket plane built to break the sound barrier. We didn't even know that we would ever break Mach 1. It didn't make any difference to me whether I thought the airplane would go fast and sound. I was assigned as a, as a test pilot on it, and it was my duty to fly it. Jaeger dropped clear. From the belly of a B-29, the X-1 was dropped into the sky in October 1947. The rest was up to Jaeger. Scientists didn't know whether the plane would break apart or whether Jaeger would survive smashing through the speed of sound. And he does it the first human to crack the sound barrier. The cockpit shook furiously. That moment recreated in the Hollywood film, The Right Stuff. I'm still going upstairs like a bat out of hell. She's getting real active. Jaeger's death-defying achievements blazed a path for the first astronauts who would follow his contrails. He was supremely self-confident, he was genial, but he had a razor-sharp mind on anything involving high-speed flight. Jaeger would continue to break aviation records. He was the first pilot to fly twice the speed of sound. You don't look at it as being dangerous. It's something that you're sort of dedicated to, and that's your job, and that's what you're going to do. And, and uh, you don't really think about the outcome. Jaeger personified the aw shucks courage that it took to be the first to test life and death at supersonic speeds. <laughs> He marked the 50th anniversary by breaking the sound barrier again. I just tell people I'm no hero. I just a kid that, you know, it's the right place at the right time. Chuck Yeager didn't actually believe in having the right stuff. He believed in hard work and learning from experience. The secret, he said, was that somehow he always managed to live to fly another day. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.